Hello, everyone, and welcome to Evening Stories. My name is Mr. Jeff, and I'm an early literacy specialist from the Tampa Hillsborough County Public Library. Our theme tonight is fruits and vegetables. What are some of your favorite fruits and vegetables? Well, I could name a couple. I like apples. I like bananas. I like tomatoes. I like broccoli. I like carrots. Well, we're going to read some books, sing some songs all about fruits and vegetables tonight. So let's go ahead and get started with our hello song. Now our hello song, we're going to do a couple of things. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to clap our hands. We're going to clap our hands all together. And then we're going to use a really cool American Sign Language sign for hello. And that's where we give a salute to everybody and we say, hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Oh, wonderful. I think I'm going to, I'm just going to wave. That's a, that's a good way to say hello as well. Hello. Hello. You can't see my feet, but I'm going to stomp my feet some. And I'm also going to use that really cool American Sign Language sign for friends. Now, friends is where I use two number ones and... They give each other a hug. Super happy sign. Friends. So it goes like this. We can sing it together. I'll start by clapping my hands. It goes like this. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. And we wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello with our friends at story time. We wave and sing hello and we stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello with our friends at story time. We stomp and sing hello. Ah, fantastic job, everyone. It's a great way to get started by saying hello. <clears throat> Our library resource shout out for tonight is for Canopy Kids. So Canopy, they offer well, movies and documentaries for adults, but they also have their very own kids section. And you can find that direct link on our website, hcplc.org slash kids to the kids section of Canopy. And you can enjoy unlimited streaming of educational and enriching movies, TV series like The Adventures of Paddington Bear, one of my favorites, Paddington, and animated storybooks for children of all ages. Well, you can find out more about Canopy Kids at hcplc.org slash kids. Now it's time for our baby sign and Spanish words of the week. So in American Sign Language, we're going to use the sign for hungry. Well, what a great word for tonight's theme, hungry. Well, for hungry, I'm going to take, well, my dominant hand. It could be your right or left hand, whichever hand you write or scribble with. I'm going to make a C shape with that dominant hand. And I'm going to start kind of near where my neck is and then bring it down to my stomach. Hungry. And you can look hungry as it said. Hungry. 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 In American Sign Language. And then we have the Spanish words of the week today as well, which is, I'm hungry. The phrase, I'm hungry, sounds like, tengo hambre in Spanish. Want to say it with me? Tengo hambre. I'm hungry in Spanish. Tengo hambre. Great job. But now it's time for our first book. And our first book is called Too Many Carrots. And this is by author and illustrator Katie Hudson, published by Capstone. And this is an abridged version of Too Many Carrots, which means it's a, a little bit shorter today. Too Many Carrots. Let's check it out. Rabbit loved carrots. He collected them wherever he went. 
Rabbit was proud of his collection and burrowed it away in his cozy hole. But Rabbit had a problem. A big problem. He's having a hard time stuffing all those carrots into his burrow or his cozy hole. He couldn't sleep. Not a whole lot of room to take a snooze with all those carrots. His cozy hole was too crowded to live in. I need a place to sleep, Rabbit told Tortoise. You could share my house, Tortoise offered. It looks cozy and snug, Rabbit said. Maybe it's a little too snug for two, suggested Tortoise. Not at all, said Rabbit. Rabbit thinks there's plenty of room in Tortoise's shell. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Ouch. Ah! And crash. That's a super fun word to say, crash. You want to say crash together with me. One, two, three. Crash! Oh, dear. Well... Perhaps we can stay in Bird's nest, said Rabbit. My nest is quite small, Rabbit, said Bird. I'm sure we will all fit, replied Rabbit. Rabbit hauled all his carrots up the tree. Whoa, groaned Tortoise and Bird as the branch wobbled and swayed. And snapped. Oh, no. Let's say crash together again on three. One, two, three. <gasps> crash! Great job. I'm so sorry, bird. Now three of us don't have a place to sleep, said Rabbit. You can sleep in my house, offered Squirrel. Oh, thank you, Squirrel. How kind of you, said Rabbit. I don't think any more carrots will fit, Rabbit said Squirrel. Just a few more, Rabbit replied. Uh-oh, whimpered Tortoise, Bird, and Squirrel. Creak, crack, and ready? One, two, three, crash! Not again. Now four of us don't have anywhere to sleep grumbled Squirrel. You can sleep at my house, called Beaver. It has plenty of space. Great! I can bring even more carrots, Rabbit said with a smile. <clears throat> but with all your carrots, we can't fit inside, said Beaver, a, a bit bewildered. Just then, the rain started. Tortoise shivered. Bird whimpered. Squirrel squeaked. And Beaver heard a terrible rumble as his house collapsed. Oh no! My home! yelled Beaver. Oh no! My carrots! cried Rabbit. Ah! And say it again. One, two, three. Crash! The friends groaned as they swept up onto the river bank. Rabbit felt terrible. His friends were cold, tired, and homeless, and it was all his fault. Even worse, Rabbit still had all of his carrots and his house. And that's when he realized there was only one thing to do share everything with his friends. After all, carrots weren't for collecting. They were for sharing. Looks like they had a, a wonderful time in Rabbit's house. And sharing made everything better. And they all had a very long day. That's the end of our first book today. Thank you for being such great readers tonight. Now, I would like to do a, 
a little song about some vegetables. Well, ten vegetables, actually. I'm going to tell talk to you about my ten little vegetables. We're going to pick our vegetables up high. We're going to pick our vegetables down low. And then we're going to chop them up just like that. Just chop up all those vegetables. And then we're going to put them in a pot and cook them nice and slow. So it goes like this. I have 10 little vegetables and they all taste yummy to me. They grow everywhere. Would you like to see? You can pick them up high. You can pick them down low. You can chop them up and put them in a pot and cook them nice and slow. Let's try it one more time. I have 10 little vegetables and they all taste yummy to me. They grow everywhere. Would you like to see? We can pick them up high. We can pick them down low. We can chop them and put them in a pot and cook them nice and slow. Great job. That's a, a super fun rhyme to sing together about 10 little vegetables. But now I want to read our second book today. Let's read again. This one is called Vegetables in Pajamas. Well, that's super fun. How appropriate for our evening story time, Vegetables in Pajamas. This is by author and illustrator Jared Chapman and published by Abrams Books. Let's check it out. Vegetables in Pajamas. Three, two, one, bedtime. Oh, what's great about bedtime? Well, that means pajamas. Snuggly, cozy, comfy pajamas. There are pajamas for when it's cold and pajamas for when it's hot. <laughs> pajamas that are mixed and pajamas that match. Well, take a look. All those vegetables have pajamas with dinosaurs on them. Well, that's super fun. Pajamas that are new and pajamas that are new to you. Maybe you're borrowing an a t-shirt from your mom or dad or grandma, grandpa even, maybe even a caregiver. There are pajamas for special days and pajamas for all the rest. Pajamas for sleeping over and pajamas for sleeping in. There are pajamas for brushing teeth and last sips of water. Pajamas for bedtime stories and getting tucked into bed. Pajamas for kisses goodnight and sleeping tight. Looks like those vegetables are snoring away. Shoo! Shoo! Well, hopefully, hopefully for sleeping tight, but also pajamas for, well, a good pillow fight as well. And it looks like that's the end of our second book today. Well, thank you again for being such great readers tonight. Well, let's do a little rhyme about an apple. Well, we're going to use all sorts of different sizes for the apple. We're going to use a small apple, a medium apple, and a giant apple. It goes like this. Here is an apple, and here is an apple, and a great big apple I see. Now let's count the apples we've made. One, two, three. Let's try it again. 
Here is an apple, and here is an apple, and a great big apple I see. Now let's count the apples we've made. One, two, three. Fantastic, all different sizes of apples. Great job, everyone. But right, let's read our last book today. Our last book today is called Snack Time for Cow. And this is by author Michael Dahl, illustrator Oriol Vidal, and published by Picture Window and Imprint of Capstone. Snack Time for Cow. Let's check it out. Baby cow likes to snack. In the morning, baby cow asks, what's for snack? Well, that's a very good question. That's, that's what I think of the first time I wake up too. A banana, a pear, and a chunk of cheese, answers mama cow, a very good breakfast. In the afternoon, baby cow asks, what's for snack? Hmm, let's find out. Carrot sticks, cherry tomatoes, and sugar snap peas, answers Mama Cow. And it looks delicious. In the evening, Baby Cow asks, What's for snack? Yogurt and applesauce with cinnamon, answers Mama Cow. That's all the snacks for today, says Mama Cow. Moo, moo, thank you, says Baby Cow. A nice thing to say when you get a snack. More snacks tomorrow. Well, what kind of snacks do you think Cow is going to eat tomorrow? Maybe a strawberry? An apple? A cherry, maybe even a great big watermelon. That's the end of our last book for tonight. But I think I still want to do a couple more songs. I want to do a song about a banana. Well, how about two bananas? Well, how about all the way up to ten bananas? Well, we'll start by one banana, two banana, three bananas, and four. And it goes like this. One banana, two banana, three banana, four. All the little monkeys look around for more. Five bananas, six bananas, seven banana, all the way to ten. The monkeys climb right up the trees and slide right down again. Bananas here, bananas there, in every little tummy. What do all the monkeys say? Yummy, yummy, yummy. Let's try it one more time. One banana, two banana, three banana, four. All the little monkeys look around for more. Five banana, six banana, all the way to ten. The monkeys climb up the tree and slide right down again. Bananas here, bananas there, and every little tummy. What? Do the monkey say, yummy, yummy, yummy. Great job. That's a fun song about bananas. How about another one? One last fruit and vegetable song. Well, <clears throat> this is called Out in the Garden. We're going to talk about red tomatoes, orange carrots, green pea pods, and yellow ears of corn. And we're going to pick all these really cool vegetables. Well, let's give it a try. Out in the garden, early in the morning. See the red tomatoes all in a row. See the happy farmer coming out to pick them. Pick, 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 off she goes. How about some orange carrots? Out in the garden, early in the morning. See the orange carrots all in a row. See the happy farmer coming out to pick them. Got to pick them out of the ground this time. Pick, 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 off she goes. Out in the garden, early in the morning, see the green pea pods all in a row. 
see the happy farmer coming out to pick them. Pick, 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 pick. Off she goes. And some yellow ears of corn. Out in the garden, early in the morning, see the yellow ears of corn all in a row. See the happy farmer coming out to pick them. Pick, 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 pick. Off she goes. Well, thank you again for singing another really fun rhyme with me. Well, we're all here, part of that Every Child Ready to Read initiative at your library. What's great about this initiative is that it comes with its very own song, and so easy we can sing it all together. It goes like this. <clears throat> read, ride, talk, sing, play. Read, ride, talk, sing, play. Read, ride, talk, sing, play. Growing readers day by day. Excellent job today, and thank you so much for hanging out with me for evening story time. Now, we're talking about all that really that really fun skill of play. It's one of my favorites because your little ones are using all those skills all at once when they play. Now, there are three common ways that children pretend. They have role playing, and that's when kids take on take on a different persona and pretend to be someone besides themselves. They're role playing. They could be something real, like a, a doctor or imaginative, like a dragon or a unicorn. There's also object substitution. This is when kids use one object as a different one. For example, kids might grab a rectangular block or a baby rattle instead of reaching for an actual phone to pretend to make a call. Mm. And then we have world creation, a great way to pretend as well. While some make-believe play involves the natural world and familiar objects, other times kids use their imagination, all those really cool things that they can think, to create an entirely new world. Now, this fantasy element of play allows them to try new things and experiment with ideas. But no matter how you play, keep up all the great work. Now we have some activity packets for you to download in our comment section. These come with coloring pages, letter tracing activities, along with the words, the songs, and rhymes we did today, so I can practice some more at home. But before we go tonight, I would like to sing our goodbye song together. I'm going to use some really cool American Sign Language signs in our goodbye song. We have our first one, which is more, and that's where I touch my fingertips together and say more. More. And then I'm going to use two thumbs up, and put those thumbs up together, and then I'm just going to put them in a circle, just like that. It's kind of like I'm doing a dance move. Together. Together. For happy, well, I'm going to be happy, and then I'm going to wave my hands in front of me because I'm so happy. 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 Close enough for now. Happy. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to go back to friends, which I use two number ones to give each other a hug. That's a happy sign for friends. Friends. Well, it goes like this. We can sing it together. I'm going to start with more. You ready? The more we get together, together, together. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Excellent job, everyone. Well, again, my name is Mr. Jeff. I'm an early literacy specialist with the Tampa Hillsborough County Public Library. Thank you for joining us for evening story times. So you can contact us, phone number 813-273-3652 with any questions, comments, or even suggestions. You can contact us anytime online at hcplc.org slash about slash contact. Find more resources available for you and your little ones at our website, hcplc.org slash kids. And join us the same place, same time next week. Our theme's gonna be all about autumn changes all the changes that we see in the season of fall well, until then have a great day a great rest of the week and we'll see you all next time thank you